I'm a first generation American, born and raised in New Orleans. My dad is from Venezuela, and my mom is from Nicaragua, and I spent most of my childhood with that side of the family. Since my job is to take a long story and tell it in a couple of minutes, I decided I would write y'all a quick behind the scenes script of my life. No visuals today, so you'll have to use your own imagination. Opening scene. <laughs> An adorable little girl with curly brown hair is watching Barney before her first day of kindergarten. She's still singing the cleanup song as she pulls up to her new school with her mom and Abuelo, both of them trying to keep her te their tears back as they drop her off. The little girl waves goodbye and walks into a classroom full of white faces. She's a little shy and struggles to understand some of the words her classmates are saying. She quickly realizes that none of them are speaking Spanish. Even the girl whose last name was Lopez. <laughs> the camera zooms in to a close-up of her brown eyes as she looks around trying to figure out how to express herself in this new environment. The camera zooms back out, and she's back at home with her mom, declaring, I don't want to speak Spanish anymore. My mom took a look at me and said, Daniela, en esta casa se habla español si te gusta o no. We then see a montage of the little girl growing up and finding ways to fit in at an all-girls Catholic school. We hear Daniela explaining how gallo pinto is not the same thing as red beans and rice. <laughs> Girls staring at Daniela on the phone in shock as she easily switches between language to coordinate after school pickup. We see Daniela annoyed at her friends as they think she's Mexican just because she speaks Spanish. And as we go through these various stages of her life, through middle and high school, the only con constant scene we see year after year is Daniela in front of the television obsessing over the latest episode of her favorite shows. The montage ends with a hard stop at 2011, freshman year of college in Washington, D.C. Daniela is still talking about her favorite shows with friends, but this time in Spanglish. From accents, we can tell that her friends are from different places, Venezuela, Puerto Rico, Mexico, Costa Rica. And while technically she's the gringa of the group, we see that Daniela is happy and has found friends she can share her culture with. The end, identity crisis over. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, but I'll stop talking in third person now. You get the idea. Growing up, I didn't appreciate how many children of immigrants struggled to balance two cultures in the US. None of my first-gen friends back home openly shared these experiences. Even my stateside cousins, they weren't forced to speak Spanish all the time, and they were able to blend a little bit more with their lighter skin. The only thing that hasn't changed over the years is my love of television. As an only child, I watch shows to understand different stages of life. I get attached to characters season after season and mourn every season's finale. But the characters I was trying to emulate were all white. Latino representation was limited to secondary characters with names like Carmen, Ana Lucia, and Dr. Torres. It wasn't until Jane the Virgin, after college, that I saw a Latina lead and felt the true spirit of Latino culture captured authentically. The generational love, the Catholic guilt, I mean, it was a novela about a novela. Genius! <laughs> It was a lot of if you know you know references and guest stars like Gloria Estefan. It's a comfort show I come back to time and time again. When I graduated with a media studies degree, my parents were concerned I'd be a starving creative, but after a couple of internships at National Geographic, I knew that I could make my love of TV a full-time job. Years later, I'm proud to have worked on campaigns that highlight Spanish speakers from Cesar Millan to Jose Andres and countless of Latino Nat Geo explorers. In my work, creating authentic content means not subtitling every person with an accent, sound bites in various language, and avoiding stereotypes, particularly when promoting shows about migrants. 
While the little girl in me would have loved to grow up with Coco and Encanto, it's exciting to see brands across the Walt Disney Company highlighting Latino stories today. And this is just the beginning. Gracias.